Imagine playing Minecraft in a normal world when suddenly everything gets sucked into one lucky block. This lucky block is randomized, meaning I can get OP loot or face deadly consequences. Can I survive? Stay tuned to find out. All right, one block is just you and I. Hopefully you're not too mean to me, but let's get started here. Okay, you know what? That is not a bad start at all. I will go ahead and take that. And by the looks of it as well, we do have a little bit of villages in the distance, so we will definitely have to check those out later. And okay, wow, we can literally already go to the nether dimension and make an end portal. But I think what we're gonna do in the meantime with this, because I'm sure we'll get more obsidian, let's just go ahead and build an obsidian layer around this in case of any explosions I want to be able to live. And let's go ahead and use the remaining portions of this and just expand my island a little bit. And eventually I want to expand my island over to those villages and uh, harvest whatever I can from over there. Um, what the heck is this? Uh, there is a lever there and I'm kind of scared to press that. But you know what? YOLO. Uh, wait, it's literally disappearing. Is there anything inside of here? <gasps> okay, that's a good. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, we're still alive, guys, and that is exactly why we used obsidian. This one block is very cursed, so... Um, okay, you know what? I'll take some basic tools. This is definitely gonna come in handy as well. And a bunch of enchanted books. Okay, so that will come in handy as well. They don't really look too good. Uh, what is quick charge? Does anyone know what that is? Comment down below if you know. Um, what just happened? Okay, an emerald block. Can I even mine an emerald block with a stone pickaxe? And I, I don't think this is gonna work. No! Okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe next time. And okay, I guess, you know, I guess having some full leather armor is not the worst thing. Thank you very much, one block. Okay, wait, I think these are a bunch of lucky items. Minus 100 potion, plus 100 potion, and a lucky sword that we'll have to try later on as well. Okay, it looks like we got our first little bit of food, even though it's rabbit stew, and it probably would taste terrible. It's better than nothing. Um, okay, so we got two lucky blocks. One is lucky, one is not. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Let's do this one. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, I thought that was an anvil for a second. Okay, you know what? I'll take a lapis block. That'll come in handy for enchanting. And I'm assuming this one's not gonna be the lucky one. And, okay, you know what? Music discs. This really isn't that unlucky. At least we'll have some music. Where is my one block? Is my one block literally just dirt now? We upgraded to the tier two phase, which is a dirt phase. Okay, well, let's go ahead and harvest all of this dirt. And there we go. Okay, so we only got 10 dirt from that. Uh, let's go ahead and build maybe a little area over here. And in this area, we can have some of our farms whenever we get those supplies, that is. Okay, we just got a ton of jukeboxes. Honestly, I'm gonna just use these as building blocks to make our way over to this village. All right, we're still pretty far away, and hopefully we get a water bucket at some point as well. Okay, and we got another chest. Okay, it's almost like we just spoke this one into existence. Let's go. We got a couple water buckets. We got eight cooked mutton. That's going to come in handy. And of course, we got some levels here and some random coral. Okay. Oh, nice. Our trees are grown, so that is good. Let's go ahead and harvest what supplies we can get here. I'm a little bit scared to be out here at nighttime because obviously phantoms. So we should probably make a little shelter, a temporary shelter with what would we have currently? And because the sun is setting, we should do this quickly, but we gotta quickly make a platform here to catch all of these saplings because we're gonna need a big tree farm. That is one of our many goals of this video. We need to create a giant tree farm. That way we're able to expand and make a pretty awesome island. All right, there we go. We already got one sapling, so that's good. Okay, the sun is now going down. It is time to hide in a hole because, guys, we still haven't gotten any wool, so we're just gonna hide in here for now. Okay, is it morning yet? Okay, we are now in morning, so we should be safe to come out of here, and wow, we actually got quite a lot of saplings from this one. Okay, so we got five oak saplings, and we've got three spruce saplings, which is gonna help quite a bit. And let's continue working our way over here as well. Okay, so we've made some pretty good progress. We probably just need to get a little bit more wood and we should be able to harvest all the supplies from this village. Okay, well, the tree is fully grown now. Let's go ahead and harvest all of this. We got a bunch more saplings from that and a bunch more spruce logs. So we should be able to get over the village now. All right, so now we just need to water bucket down here and we'll land right 
there okay and let's go ahead and see what supplies we can get looks like there's some seeds here and it looks like some of the buildings might have dirt under them as well so we need to definitely harvest all of this Oh, and it looks like we have a friend here. I guess he's just been trapped here for all of eternity and literally has just been stuck here by himself. Is it just me or is he legit staring at me? He's like, help, help me. I literally can't move. I've been stuck here my entire life. Sorry, buddy. You're going to have to stay here for a while longer, my friend. Okay, and we have another bed here. Uh, sorry, my friend. This is not personal, I promise, but I just need to get a bed because it is nighttime. Guys, I think my brain wasn't working when I MLG water bucketed down. I could have literally placed water up there, and then I would have just been able to swim back up, but I guess I'm gonna have to waste some of my wood here. All right, we made it back. It looks like our tree has grown, and now I wanna start making myself a better tree farm because we did get a bunch of dirt from that village, so we should be able to create something a lot better than this. Okay, there we go. Now we have a decent tree farm. This should be able to give us a lot of wood. Now let's go ahead and chop this thing down. All right, now I just want to expand my island a little bit more. Okay, this platform is a lot better. I feel a lot more safe. And something I do want to do as well eventually is put fences all around the surrounding area just so I don't accidentally fall off. Okay, and as you guys can see, we're finally starting to make some decent progression. We have our little farm here for our food. And then I created a giant area where we will basically have a forest of trees to harvest from. And then utilizing all this wood, we should be able to expand the island quite a lot and then get started on some building some really cool stuff. But in the meantime, let's go to bed for the night. All right, now that we have all the essential stuff done, down for survival. Let's go ahead and continue mining the one block and see what else we can get. Oh my gosh, wait, did I just get a piece of... Oh my gosh, I literally just got a block of netherite. That is very important. Let's go ahead and throw that in here. And let's see what else we can get here. Okay, cool. That's definitely good to have so I can make some more torches. And a barrel. Okay, we got some golden nuggets, flint and steel. That's going to help us get to the nether later on. A silk touch shovel. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, so we just got some carrots as well. So we're not only going to have to rely on creating wheat. And also, that reminds me, I actually found nine potatoes down at the village over there. So we can actually make a potato and carrot farm now. But before we do that, let's continue mining the one block. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's keep our distance from you. Let's go. Oh, no. They poisoned me. They poisoned me. Wait, what am I shooting? What is this lucky bow? Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. I literally just exploded my base with this lucky bow. I did not think it would do that. Let's go ahead and patch this up. I think I shot TNT, exploded my base over there. And I'm literally on half a heart. Thank God poison can't kill you. Okay, nice. We just got a bunch of sand. We'll be able to make some glass from that. Okay, that's not good. I'm literally on half a heart right now. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Why does this game hate me? And okay. I think they're, I'm far enough away, but I'm kind of scared. Okay, there we go. Wait, I don't think they're going to be aggro on me. I did just shoot him, but since they've transformed, I think they're friendly. Uh, hey guys, don't mind me. I didn't just shoot you. I'm just going to go ahead and push you off the edge. H have a good time down there, Jimmy. Can we get a hashtag rip Jimmy in the comments? Goodbye, my friend. And let's go ahead and push the rest of these guys off just because I don't like them. All right, and now let's go harvest these trees, and huh, there we go. I totally didn't just spend the last 30 minutes of my life slaving away at mining all these trees, I promise. Okay, now that I've gathered all of these saplings, the next thing I want to do is continue expanding my island here. I want to make a dedicated place for all of my farming needs, as this is not the most optimal nor the most aesthetic. And this might take a while. Okay, that looks a lot better. My finger's a little sore from clicking like 10,000 times, but it was worth it. Okay, no, 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 not like this. Not a supercharged creeper. Wait, it just respawned. Wait, oh my gosh, what the heck? I've never seen that before. It would be a very bad day for us if this entire place got on fire because it's literally made out of wood. Oh, and we got a barrel. Uh, What do we got? Okay, yes, yeah, six blocks of iron. We got some flint and a lava bucket, which means we are going to be able to build a cobblestone generator. And on top of that, we can make the rest of our armor into iron. Now let's go ahead and grab a pumpkin that we got from one of the villages. And we can go ahead and create an iron golem. 
And there we go. We've got our little friend here. Let's just name him Jamal. We've got a protector now. All right, let's see what else we can get here. A block of Emerald. Okay, that's going to come in handy with trading later on. Okay, thank gosh we just got Jamal. Oh my gosh, wait. Jamal is actually destroying these things. Uh, Jamal, you, you kind of missed a few over here. Don't mind if I help you out. All right, there we go. Good stuff, buddy. We're already making some pretty good friends around here. I created a little chest area here. I do want to go ahead and create this cobblestone generator now as well. That way we have an unlimited amount of blocks. All right, so let's just go ahead and make a temporary spot for this cobblestone generator. Okay, now I just need to place the water bucket here and the lava bucket here, and we should get some cobblestone. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab our golden pickaxe that we got earlier and start mining a ton of cobblestone. Okay, that took a while. Spent the last couple days mining a bunch of cobblestone from the generator. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some iron tools and harvest all of my trees. Okay, and now that we have a bunch of wood, this is where I wanna start building my base. So first we're gonna make a pathway that leads up to our base. Okay, so we have a little pathway leading up here, and now I'm starting to outline my base. Although it is nighttime, which means phantoms are likely gonna be spawning, so let's quickly go to bed and continue making the outline. Now I have sort of an outline of what I want the base to look like, and I was thinking about potentially making some cool archways here on either side. Then either side of them can lead into different farms. I think that would look pretty awesome. But in the meantime, this looks very strange because it's literally just floating on these stairs. So I want to expand my slabs here. And now that we're done with the slabs, let's go ahead and start adding in some pillars. Okay, and now it actually looks like it's being supported. Okay, now I want to carve out some areas that I'm going to make my archways. Okay, and I think if we just use oak logs and then strip them, that should look like a pretty good design for an archway. All right, and that looks pretty good for now. All right, and since there's so much wood around here, I did want to add a little bit of diversity, and I think these stone bricks will do just the trick. There we go, just something subtle just like that. And of course, we're gonna have our different farms in these areas here. And eventually our base is gonna look pretty awesome. But there's one thing a little bit more important than finishing our base, and that is creating a dark room. Okay, so we completed this layer. Now I just gotta connect all four of the corners. And there we go. Now we just need to build the outer walls and the roof. Okay, now we just need to get the roof on. And there we go. Now the entire dark room infrastructure is pretty much completed. Now all I gotta do is place water on each of the corners. And just like that. Now we just gotta add some slabs on each of these corners. And let's place the last few. And there we go. Okay, so our dark room should be completed. Let's go on and get out of here before something bad spawns on me and probably kills me. Okay, so now the last thing I want to do is just quickly remove these torches on the top because I think that also can prevent mobs from spawning on the interior. All right, let's go ahead and water myself down. It's probably going to break a bunch of my torches, but I mean, I could have MLG water bucketed, but that also risks dying and... Why is there so many mobs on the outside of my mob grinder? All right, let's drop down here and let's go ahead and kill the rest of these things. I'm not sure how the heck they got outside of the mob farm and oh my gosh, they do a lot of damage. What kind of shovel was that? It was doing a lot of damage. Okay, uh, goodbye, sir. All right, so now we have our dark room. I don't know why I built it so high up, but don't judge me, guys. Now I just gotta add a ladder and we could probably make this thing look a bit more aesthetic later on, but at least it serves its purpose. And I think that looks a little bit better. Now let's go see if this thing works. The moment of truth. Okay, there we go. Now we got a bunch of mobs in here and it's a very easy experience farm. So we should be able to get a ton of experience and probably get some pretty good a chance later on. And now that our dark room's complete, let's go ahead and harvest all of these trees and yeah. Okay, is it just me or does the place look a lot better without all of these trees just lying around here? And oh my gosh, how many saplings am I gonna get from this? Okay, I literally got 49 saplings and there's still more coming. Anyways, I do wanna move this tree farm area 
area because obviously I'm going to have the main entranceway to our base here. And I think it's a little hideous to have a giant tree farm kind of right in front of my base. So we're probably going to spend the next few days working on creating a brand new area for all the tree farms. And that way it's just out of the way of this area. All right, and now we just got to fill this in. Yeah, there we go. I wish everything was that easy. And one thing I might also add, that just took me about an hour to do, and my fingers are literally dead. So make sure you like this video. So the next thing I want to do is since we have none of the trees, let's go ahead and plant them all over here. That way they're out of the way here. And there we go. So we have a massive tree farm here and they're already starting to grow. I'll likely end up cutting down some of them right here. That way I can start implementing some of my farms here. But in the meantime, we're going to let all of these grow. That way we get an insane amount of wood. And wow, one of them literally just grew in front of us. But we're going to be able to get an insane amount of wood. And then we're going to be able to keep expanding this lucky block and it's going to turn into something crazy. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video. And I want to quickly outline the entire one block in oak leaves just to make it look a little bit more aesthetic. And that looks a little bit better. And it looks like we have uh, a couple visitors. You'd think that they wouldn't be able to spawn because look how many torches I've been able to put around. But I guess there's still some dark areas where they're spawning. Like, I don't even know where they're spawning from, though. I guess I'll just place a couple more torches over here. And we'll hopefully get rid of these guys now as well. And I'm not sure why they do so much damage because I literally have a diamond chest plate with protection on it and everything. But it is what it is. Let's go ahead and use uh, a little bit more torches here. And hopefully you don't have any more creatures that spawn here. Okay, so... So next up on the agenda, I want to start working on these little archway rooms. So let's get started on building the outline. Okay, let's go ahead and mine out this middle area. And before we do that, let's go to sleep before any phantoms try and knock me off the world. Okay, now we want to place dirt on the inside. And I was thinking we make some sort of glass dome around this. Now, obviously, I don't really have that much sand. I just haven't got much from the one block. But hopefully, we find some more later on. Let's go ahead and grab a bit more dirt and continue filling out this area. All right, now we just got to harvest this farm here. And we're going to go ahead and replant it over here. Okay, cool. That looks a lot better. And look at this. Our forest is pretty much fully grown over here. And it looks so much better being on the sidelines rather than covering the entire front of my base. I think our lucky block is actually starting to come together. Although there's still a lot of work to be done, it looks pretty dang good so far. All right. So now what I want to do, let's create some food and continue mining the one block. I do want to get to the next phase and see what other OP loot we can get. All right. Well, here we go. Okay. A barrel. Okay. Some apples, some redstone dust, you know, some pretty basic stuff. I'll take that. Crying obsidian. Okay, we'll take that. We should probably go ahead and place that around this block too, just in case there's any more explosions. Okay, hold on. We actually just got some skulk sensors. That is interesting. Hopefully a warden can't spawn from this because that would be very deadly. And okay, it looks like we got some more iron armor. That might come in handy later, I guess. Okay, we got a furnace or we got a dispenser with nothing really useful in it. And it looks like if we mine, if we mine just 10 more blocks, we should be into the next phase. Oh, wow. We actually just got a ton of variations of glass. So we should go ahead and make a chest for all the different variations of glass because that is actually going to come in handy. There we go. Hopefully we get another chest with more of these blocks because we can make some pretty cool looking things. Oh, wow. And a bunch of different variations of candles. That? I actually like getting a bunch of different variations, like colored variations of items. I think we're going to be able to make things look pretty aesthetic with this kind of stuff. Ooh, a trident and a shield. Okay, well, I didn't have a shield yet and I for sure didn't have a trident. That could come in handy. <gasps> okay. Oh my God. I just got struck by lightning and we got to put out these fires fast. Put out the fires fast. Please do not blow up my entire base. Please do not burn my entire base. We got to move quickly. We've got to move very, very quickly. Okay. Oh, that is not fun. And that is very, that is one of the very scary things. And probably one of the worst things that can happen since my entire base is wood. It can quite literally burn my entire base down. It might be a good idea to change this part of my base and make it all stone. That way we don't accidentally have an issue where I'm not able to stop the fire spread. And it literally burns down my entire lucky block. Let's go ahead and make that change right now. Yeah. And then 
there we go. Now we shouldn't have any more fire hazards, hopefully. Okay, a bunch of hay bales. Honestly, I was running low on food and none of my crops have grown yet, so this comes in handy. Ooh, a shulker box. We got a bunch of obsidian in here, golden carrots, which actually are like the best food source, so I'll take that. And another shulker box. Okay, you know what? I'll just take these shulker boxes. They're just good storage spaces to have. And we just got some carrots and potatoes. That reminds me, we have yet to build a carrot or potato farm. I think we should probably make that on this side. And of course, we do want to get some sand to make some nice domes around these farms as well. Ooh, and it looks like there's a bunch of gold blocks here as well. Okay, I didn't see those before, but I'll take that, I guess. And ooh, we just got tier upgrade, tier amethyst. What comes from amethyst? Things are ramping up. Okay, that does not sound very good. Oh, okay, well, we just got a bunch of donkeys. Uh, w welcome to your new home, guys. We barely have any dirt for you guys to hang out on. I guess you could just hang out on this. But uh, okay, well, this is very interesting. I didn't expect to have a herd of donkeys, but it's about time we've had some animals on this lucky block anyways. I should probably make them a separate area. That way, nothing bad happens to them over there. And we just got an Enderman friend here. Here. Let's go ahead and take him down. There we go. Okay, you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments down below, but I'm basically trying to move all of them, but they're not attracted to wheat, carrots, golden carrots, seeds, apples. Like, what are you supposed to lure donkeys with? Let me know in the comments, because apparently I don't know. So they're probably gonna end up dying here, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, what do we get in this chest? A bunch of rails and some rep more redstone supplies. Ooh, and we got a name tag, so we can name one of the donkeys as well. And before we continue mining the lucky block, I did want to clean up my island and make it look a little bit more aesthetic. Like, for example, we just have all of this different wood here from here. I kind of want to make it all one contrast so it doesn't look all weird. Like, we have a bunch of music blocks here. So we're kind of just going to clean up everything. And we're going to try and harvest all of the leaves from my tree farm and all of the wood as well. Oh, and uh, I guess we have some visitors. Uh, what kind of trades do you have? Ooh, wow, we could actually get glowstone. This guy actually is fairly valuable, and I think if I remember earlier, we may have gotten an emerald block. We did. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some glowstone from this guy because that actually might come in handy later on. I appreciate trading with you, but that's kind of all the business I needed from you. So I'm just going to go ahead and kill you now. I'm sorry, my friend. Okay, and just to give you guys an idea of how big this tree farm actually is, I literally went through an entire iron axe and had to use some durability on another iron axe just to mine this tree farm. But we definitely get a ton of wood and saplings from this. Now that we've harvested up all the trees, let's go ahead and replace all this wood. And just to make things a little bit faster. Yeah. Okay, and as you guys can see, we sort of cleaned up everything a little bit. We just gotta move our bed, probably get rid of these chests as well. And we also have a creeper. Hello, friend. I don't know how you got here, but I'm not gonna ask any questions. Just please don't blow up my hard work. Okay. Well, at least he didn't blow up too much. Okay, guys, I just spent the last couple days eating food. Yeah, literally, I had to go eat dinner, guys. Don't judge me. I know I just ate a pita, but I I'm just really hungry these days, okay? <laughs> Anyways, what I want to do now, I obviously, the force has grown back now, but we're not going to worry about harvesting them. I do want to start building the exterior of this base and actually, you know, put some sort of roof on it. Make it an actual base because this is not a base quite yet. All right, so as you guys can see, I have created a little bit of a design here. Obviously, we are still missing glass. I haven't found any sand yet, but this house is still fairly small, and I was thinking it would be cool if I built an upper floor as well, just to have a nice two-story building. Okay, and as you guys can see, we've finished it more or less. Once we get the glass up in here, we should be okay. But we now have a two-story base, and this will be used for hopefully a brewing station of some sort later on. Now, we should probably bring our chests in here at some point, but I can't be asked doing that right now. Oh, and we have another friend in here. Let's hopefully not explode my base this time. I don't know why I'm not using my iron axe either. That would have made that a lot easier. Okay, so now that we've finished the exterior of my base, I do want to start working on the interior and kind of making things look a little bit nicer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and move all of these chests into here. Hey 
Yeah. And there we go. If only if it was actually that easy. I definitely didn't spend the last 30 minutes doing this on my own, organizing all the chests, but we have all this stuff organized here. We moved all the furnaces in here. And of course, we got our bed up here. We still don't have any sand, so we're not going to really have any windows in this base, but we need one last touch to make this base look a little bit better. Where are they? And here we go. Oak leaves. And there we go. That looks a lot better. And honestly, I've never thought about using leaves instead of windows, but let me know in the comments. I think it actually looks pretty cool. We probably need an entranceway of some sort as well. So let's go ahead and place some fences maybe up like this. And then we can have a bit of leaves here. And then I was thinking maybe we just use fence gates for the entranceway. Okay, I mean, that looks decent. I'm not actually sure. These leaves kind of look a little bit out of place here. Let's go ahead and just put fence gates there. And I think that looks pretty awesome. Let me know in the comments down below. This base is actually coming together. And with our base mostly finished up, let's continue mining the one block and pre-rest in peace to these donkeys. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Okay, is this another lucky bow? Okay, well, we already have a few of those. Let's see what else we can get get here. Um, a dispenser. We got a little bit of iron, magma cream. We can make fire resistance with that. So that's good. And it says we got five out of 50 lucky blocks. So let's continue mining. Oh, we just got 11 netherite scrap. Okay. That's going to come in handy. Hopefully we can get some more. That way we can make some netherite tools and armor. Uh oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is not what I had in mind. That is a lot of witches. Let's go ahead and use our lucky bow here and hopefully we can kill them. My lucky bow is shooting all sorts of stuff at, oh my gosh. I shoot TNT and okay, I am literally just making it worse for myself with this lucky bow. Oh no, 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 please no. Please no fire, please no fire. Okay, this got a little bit out of hand. Let's go ahead and just try to take these things down one by one. And yeah, my lucky bow is not so lucky. It's literally spawning in so much bad things, but let's go ahead and, oh no, 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 no. All right, we're gonna have to probably go in our base here for a second and uh, regenerate our health. <laughs> Okay, I think that's the last of them. Ooh, a shield. Okay, well, we already got one of those. I guess I should probably use that for now. I don't need to use any torches. And these donkeys keep getting in the way, so unfortunately for them, goodbye. We'll keep a few around, but there was just way too many. Okay, that is a lot of chickens, and we got some lapis. Okay, well, we could definitely make ourselves a chicken farm as well. Hey, chickens, I'm definitely not luring you to trap you. You are... Wait, what the heck? Oh my gosh, where the heck did this witch just come from? I thought I killed them all. Okay, let's get rid of him. And I think he also... Did he kill one of my chickens? I'm not sure. Okay, guys, let's keep, let's keep it moving. So let's go ahead and trap the chickens inside of here if I can. Come on, guys. I, I know you want, I know you want seeds. Get on in there. Get on in there. Sometimes a little love tap never hurts. All right. So we trapped three of them in there. I'm literally on half a heart. So I need to be careful. And I guess we have a chicken pet in our house now too. Cause he didn't want to go in there. Let's get him in there. There we go. Okay. So now once they grow, we can start breeding them. Okay. There's a well. It says a wishing well. Maybe you should throw a coin in it. And it gave me a coin. Okay. What kind of loot are we going to get? Uh, okay. Is this thing just like a troll? I honestly don't know. Let's go ahead and mine this thing and see if there's anything like and see it and see if I get anything like I, I have no idea Th this well may have just been a complete troll I don't know well that was dumb oh my gosh okay that is very good that's probably some of the best loot we've got so far okay so and we got a block of diamonds so we got 20 diamonds from that okay yep and you already know it's about time to go to sleep before I die to a bunch of phantoms yes let me go to sleep all right now that's the morning time let's go ahead and make some new tools we'll get ourselves a new pickaxe an axe and a shovel. And with the remaining diamonds, let's go ahead and make some pants and a helmet. Okay, that was very, very good. Now we can finally put away this iron and let's continue mining the one block and see what other loot we can find. Okay, we got a Oh my gosh, we got a diamond chest plate with protection four. That is going to be way better than my current one. And a shulker box with basically nothing good. Okay, I mean, I'll take it, I guess. Okay, come on, bro. You've got to be kidding me. That's got to be about a full inventory of wood swords. Now I've got to get rid of all of this. And they're literally called rip your inventory. Come on. This has got to be some sort of sick joke, man. This is going to take me like 20 minutes to get rid of. Okay, that took a lot longer than expected. But oh my gosh, whoever made this lucky block, go find them and tell them that Painful loves them very much. I definitely don't hate them. Oh, nether warts. That's going to come in handy. Hopefully we can get some soul sand as well. And then we can make some sort of nether wart farm and we'll be able to brew a bunch of potions too. Okay, just a singular magma cube spawned. Hello, my friend. I'm 
going to go ahead and kill you and your little buddies because I need your experience and I need your magma cream to make some fire resistance potions. If I ever get a brewing table, that is. Oh, nice. Okay, so we just got a bunch of emeralds and iron ingots as well. Okay, I'll take that. Wow, we just got so much building blocks. Okay, let's go ahead and deposit all this stuff and we're almost to the next phase. All right, guys, so we are on the last five blocks. Oh my goodness. Hello, Bob Destroyers. Are you friendly? I think that they are friendly. Uh, I feel bad for whoever's name is Bob. If your name is Bob in the comments, well, can we get a hashtag rip Bob in the comments? Because you are probably going to die. Now I just got to be careful not to hit them. Let's go ahead and mine the lucky. <gasps> oh my God. That is not. Wait, Bob Destroyers, help me. <gasps> Wait, they just killed all of them. Look how much food I just got. Okay, well, this is uh, honestly a very good blessing. It would have been nice to have you guys since day one, but I'll let it slide. We are almost... Oh, wait, this donkey is contemplating... Uh... <laughs> Please do not jump, my friend. We love you. Please do not jump. Please don't jump. Oh, it'd be a shame if you fell. Okay, yeah, who cares about that guy? Let's go ahead and continue mining the last few blocks of this. Oh, wait, is this a, a block of netherite? Okay, we're gonna be able to make some netherite armor too. And there we go. So this was the last block of that tier. It says tier upgrade. Tier five summer, wait summer, sure, why not? Let's go to the beach. What is wrong with this game? Okay, so the shulker box, ooh, a diamond pickaxe with curse of vanishing on it. That's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and take the shulker box. Okay, and I guess that's the new beach lucky block. I guess I should try mining it and see what happens. <sighs> Um, a luxury Peter. He just got absolutely destroyed. Okay, so before we continue mining this lucky block, there is something I want to do. This is currently my farm. It is time we make some better farms, shall we? All right, so the first thing I want to do is replicate this, but on this side and using potatoes. So let's go ahead and do that. And just like that, we finish the farm here. Now we have our potatoes, we have our wheat. I still do want to make like a watermelon farm, a sugarcane farm, a carrot farm, but the only other supply we have is carrots. So I guess that's the only other farm we can make for now. Wow, guys. And I have a whopping three carrots. It's going to be a little small farm for now. We'll just make something temporary right over here, but eventually it's going to be a nice big farm. Now that we have our carrot farm, there is some other things I did want to do. We're going to start off with these lucky potions. Now, I haven't tried these yet, so I don't really know what they do, but one of them says plus 100 and one of them says minus 100. So let's go ahead and throw the lucky potion over here and see what we get. Oh, okay. This is actually a very lucky potion. We got ourselves a horse with some armor on it yet, but he doesn't even like me quite yet. Let's go ahead and throw this other lucky potion. Okay. Well, I guess he's got a friend now. We should probably stand next to my Bob destroyers when I throw this one. Let's see what this does. Okay. It was an unlucky potion, but I don't even know what that did. Um, oh no, 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 not like this, not like this, not like this. Quickly, 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 quickly. Okay, I see why that one was an unlucky potion. I don't even know why I'm throwing these unlucky potions near my base. I should keep it over here in the cobblestone area. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? I honestly don't even want to open these minus 100 luck potions because they just are pure bad luck. Let's go ahead and throw the remaining one of these. Okay, I think that just was like a mass healing thing. I don't really know. Okay, a bunch of cookies. You can never go wrong with those. Some more cookies and okay. Well, I guess we got a lot of sugar and cookies. Shout out to my friend Cookie. Go leave a comment on his recent video and, says, and tell him Painful says hi. All right, let's go ahead and fix this up and keep mining the one block. Okay, another luxury repeater, and it looks like luxury repeater is literally about to be destroyed. Um, it looks like he had a fire bow of some sort. Unfortunately, that didn't drop, but I'll go ahead and take the bones to make some bone meal. Ooh, what just dropped? A hoe, a sunshine hoe, an efficiency five power four flame hoe. Is that even a thing? Okay, I mean, uh, th thank you, I guess. Oh, okay. Oh gosh, I, I thought this was about to be really bad, but a bunch of animals just spawned. We should probably escort them to a safer location. Hello, my friends. I heard you guys like wheat. Yeah, come on. Let's get away from this dangerous area. So I'm going to bring all you guys into here where you can't escape. And this will be your home for the next little while until I create some sort of area for you guys. Now we also have some pandas over here. We got some llama and some parrots. This is insane. It's unfortunate I don't have any bamboo for these guys. 
is. Okay, so we just broke 10 out of 50 of the lucky blocks. It just dropped a bunch of different concretes as well, Um, which reminds me, we have a bunch of rainbow candles and stuff that we need to set up as well. I guess we could make maybe some disco area. Just off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure we have... Yeah, look at this. We have rainbow glass. We got a bunch of rainbow blocks. And then we also have the rainbow candles. So we'll we'll, we'll have to make some sort of disco area just, just for fun. Oh my God, a ghostly horseman. And now the horseman literally just got one-shotted. I don't think it's pet knows what it's doing, but... Let's go ahead and kill this. Where did it go? Okay, it's like glitching out, bro. I don't even... Okay, I guess it's gonna go die. <laughs> Oh, okay. So we just got a chest, 14 gold ingots, but we also just got some bamboo. That literally couldn't have been better timing. And oh my God, my friend is about to die. Sir, please do not jump. You would die. All right, let's also lead our bamboo friends out of here. If the iron golems would stop blocking them, that would be great. All right, come on in with all of our other animals in here. We're going to have like literally a massive farm of animals in here. We definitely need to make some sort of animal shelter for these guys soon, but... It'll have to do for now. Okay, guys, so we only have 10 more blocks until we've reached the next phase. Ooh, what is this? A smoothie, and it gives you slow falling? Okay. <gasps> okay, that is not good. Oh my God. Wait, Bob, Bob, no. My friend, Bob, you will be missed. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to fix this up and only, ooh, is there a lucky block underneath my lucky block? Okay, I guess we'll have to get that at some point, but let's go ahead and fix this up. Okay, a bunch more colored glass. This is actually really good. We might actually be able to replace the leaves with glass now, although the leaves have really started to grow on me and I think it looks pretty good. So I don't even think I'm gonna end up doing that. And the final block. Okay, we just upgraded to tier six pink. Is everything just gonna be pink? Break and find out. Okay, and then we got a bunch of different buckets of fish. Okay, I guess we can make some sort of aquarium at some point. That'll come in handy. Now, before we build our aquarium, I am curious to see what this pink lucky block actually drops. So let's try to mine one. Okay, Um, it just dropped a straight up block of gold. Okay, what else does this drop though? Ooh, some emeralds and a villager spawn egg. Okay, this pink lucky block is pretty good. And with that netherite block we found earlier, Earlier. Let's go ahead and make some netherite armor. I shouldn't lose my enchants. Okay, there we go. And it's unfortunate I don't have any diamond boots, but this is a lot better than I was. I'll tell you that. Let's also go ahead and make ourselves a netherite axe because that will help a ton. And you know what? Why not a netherite pickaxe? I thought of a cool idea. Since we don't necessarily have enough glass quite yet, I did want to create a dome-like feature over my farms. What if I use my leaves? Okay, and I think I kind of completed the dome-like look. It looks pretty awesome in here. Honestly, never thought I'd be building a lot with leaves, but leaves actually turn out to look pretty dang cool. And it looks like Bob the Destroyer is also enjoying it in here. How, how you doing, Bob? Well, I think Bob likes it. Let's go ahead and duplicate this on this side now. And there we go. Let's go ahead and expand the rest of our potato farm here. There we go. And now let's create an archway at the front of our base here and connect these two portions to our base. Okay, and that took a lot longer than I expected, but you know what? It turned out pretty cool. I'm starting to really like building with leaves. I don't know. Comment down below. What do you guys think so far? All right, and let's see what else we can get from this one block. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is a little bit cursed. I can't lie. Well, let's go grab the bamboo. Okay, this is pretty cursed. I can't lie, but I don't think all of them are going to fit in my base, but we can at least move them out of the way from the one block. And because I essentially have no room for them, I built them a little fence an area here that they can call home. All right, let's just lead them in here and then we can trap them for all of eternity. Wait, hold on. Can they not even fit through this? Holy crap, they're pretty thick. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to make this bigger. All right, my friend, enjoy your time in there, guys. You are basically gonna be stuck there for all of eternity. What else is this lucky block going to give us? Ooh, thankfully we got some more obsidian. Let's go ahead and put this around here. And wait a second, what the heck? Why is there so much iron blocks under here? Did I miss something? Okay, let's try to take what we can't. No, please. No. <laughs> and just so that doesn't happen again, we'll build a little layer underneath. Wow, there's another lucky block under there as well. I'm kind of scared to mine that one though. No, we just lost another two, man. I'm pretty bad at this. Okay, guys, we're going to risk mining this other lucky block. I don't know what... Wait, what was that? 
What the heck was that? I, I don't know what that was, but something just fell down. Hopefully it wasn't valuable. And let's go ahead and patch this back up. Okay, for some reason I thought this was gonna be very bad, but honestly, this couldn't be any better. Let's go ahead and grab some wheat. Okay, mushrooms, follow me. You're definitely not gonna be trapped here for all of eternity, I promise. Okay, I am literally stuck. There are so many. Let's sneak out the back. All right, let's just force the rest of them in here. Guys, I promise it's not a trap. Just get in there. And for the two that didn't make it, and wait a second, how did this cow just get in there? I am so confused. Oh, okay, we have a bunch of bunnies named Toast. Okay, that is interesting, and it looks like they're trying to jump off the edge. Uh, okay, well, we'll just let them be, I guess. So for the next few days, I'm gonna be harvesting all of my trees. There's quite a lot of them, and harvesting my farms. Let's continue mining the lucky block. We should be close to the next phase. Okay, I guess we got a bunch of horses. I'm not sure how helpful that is. Let's see what else we can get here. Uh, some fire charges. And oh, we just entered the new phase. Tier seven fire. You are now entering the nether beware. Oh gosh. And we already know that there's nothing in this one. Let's go ahead and patch that up. So I'm assuming this is going to be very nether themed. So we should probably prepare. All right. Well, here goes nothing. We're going to mine the first block of the nether. Uh, a fire wishing well. Maybe you should throw in. Oh, I don't know about this, guys. Did it give me anything to throw in? Like, I think this coin may have been from the other one. Uh, uh, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, I guess we'll just mine this. Oh, okay, that's not good. Let's go ahead and kill these blazes. Hopefully I can kill them before they kill me. Oh gosh, there's literally nether portals everywhere. <laughs> what is happening right now, bro? Okay, oh God, oh God. Oh my God, I'm on half a heart. I'm literally on half a heart and I am in the nether. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that literally couldn't have been more perfect timing. I think I actually would have died there if it didn't teleport me through because I believe there was another blaze in there. It looks like the lucky block is not a singular block in the nether. Well, that's a good thing. And while we're in the nether, let's quickly look around and see if there's anything different. Wait, is that a lucky block in the distance? Like way over there? Okay, we've got to mine some of the lucky blocks in the nether and see what happens. And right away, we already have someone that seems to be very mad at me. Sorry, my friend, I'm gonna have to take you out. All right, so here's the lucky block in the nether. I'm a little worried about what this one's gonna do, but here goes nothing. Let's keep our distance and... Oh, wait. What the heck? I just got a nether star. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can find any more lucky blocks around here. And then we'll head back to base. Oh, and it looks like there's another lucky block here. Let's go ahead and see what this does. Oh, wait. What did I just... It just dropped a bunch of leather armor. Okay. Well, that's not going to be very useful. I say we head back to base because these lucky blocks don't seem too lucky. Oh, okay. And we made it back home. Let's go ahead and... Okay, so we killed the blaze. Now let's just get out of here because this is just sketch. Now for the very painful process, let's gather all this obsidian. Okay, definitely didn't just spend like 10, 15 minutes of my life mining obsidian, but to look on the bright side, we can go ahead and replace this entire area with obsidian now. That way we'll be pretty much fully explosive proof for now. Ah, much better. Oh, okay, those are wither flowers. It's literally killing my iron golem. Please, can you please move from that? Bro, you're literally gonna die. Uh, okay, there we go. I pushed him off of it. Let's go ahead and collect these so none of my iron golems die. And one of the things I notice is we still don't have any enchantments yet, so let's go ahead and make ourselves an enchantment room and maybe an armory as well where we can store our armor. So the first thing I want to do is expand my base and I think the best place to expand is probably going through here and then I can expand out the back of my base and then have enough room for the enchantment room and the armory. So we'll need a ton of wood and now we'll begin. Just for consistency, let's add some stone brick. Okay, now let's add in these other corners. All right, now let's put up the walls. Grab some leaves for consistency. And quickly go to sleep before these phantoms kill me. And quickly add the roof. And now let's give this room a little love. And there we go. As you can see, we got our enchantment table right here. We got a bunch of different armor sets. Unfortunately, I don't have any more netherite. I'm still waiting on boots, but we'll set up the netherite armor stands here. And then I added a bunch more additional storage. Now let's quickly make the brewing room. And another issue I'm running into is since I built a doorway through here, I can't even get to my second layer. I think I'm going to move my ladder room over here and then sacrifice one of the brewing areas, essentially. And it's nighttime already, but here's the changes I made. I went ahead and moved the ladders from there over to here. And 
added some new brewing tables in here. Un unfortunately, I still don't have that much glass, but hopefully we get some soon. That way we're able to brew up some potions. And now I want to go ahead and harvest all of my farms again. I never quite realized how big my base actually is until I mine all of these trees down. Anyways, we've went ahead and planted them all. Now I want to go ahead and breed a bunch more of my animals. So as you guys can see in here, oh my gosh, how many do we have in here? Okay, well, let's go ahead and try to breed as many as we can. There, there looks to be like thousands of them in here, but they're all stuck together. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, now let's go ahead and breed some of the mushrooms. Can never have enough mushrooms. And unfortunately for our panda gang over here, we only have one bamboo stick so that's not quite gonna cut it so you guys can just stay like that and as much as i want to continue mining the lucky block right now there's one thing even more important Okay, that really wasn't necessary, but you can't just play lucky block and only mine the lucky block. You gotta try and build a really cool base too. And what isn't cooler than having a pool on your roof? And looking at it from the bottom, it actually looks pretty cool. It, you can't even really tell that it's a pool, but there is another thing that I think would be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. I definitely didn't just spend the last hour of my life doing this, but you can't have a pool without a diving board. We have three different sections. We have the five foot tall section. We have the 25 foot section. And then finally, we have the 100 foot tall section. So without further ado, let's do a couple spins and we should be good. Okay. What would make that more challenging if it was like a water bucket challenge, but I'm not really trying to die. I don't have any totems of undying right now, so it's probably not a good idea to try that. All right, well, now that we're done with the fun and games, let's go ahead and start mining this lucky block again. Oh, okay. Well, well, he doesn't seem too mean. And it also dropped a warp fungus on a stick. So I should actually be able to just ride this thing. Let me go see if I have a saddle. And we got one here. All right, we'll put that on you. And there we go. We now have our own strider on my lucky block. I honestly didn't think that this was really a possibility, but it is what it is. We'll just leave him in here for now. And let's try to get to the next phase. I really want to see what the next phase is. Oh, and there we go. We have tier eight fish. You're now leaving the nether straight into the ocean. There's some insane loot here. Okay, I like I like the sounds of that. Let's go ahead and see what kind of loot we're gonna get, I guess. And wow, another well. Is this well gonna be useful? Because all the other wells that we've had have literally done nothing. Okay, so there's a lucky fish coin. Let's throw it in. And it still does nothing. Okay, well, this game hates me apparently. Uh, what the heck just happened? I was mining the wishing well. Suddenly it said your beacon wish came true and a beacon appeared and a bunch of beacons just spawned everywhere. Um, oh my gosh. Wait, I got 50 beacons. What the heck just happened? Okay, well, that is very weird. We actually have, oh my gosh, we have a stack of beacons now. Okay, that is actually ridiculous. I'm assuming this beacon probably won't last long because this one block always spawns a bunch of crazy stuff, but let's go to sleep real quick. Oh, okay. That is actually not too bad. I just got a bunch of different villagers and it says start a village in the chat. Wait a second. How the heck do you start a village? I can't even trade with any of these villagers. They're literally completely useless. Well, in that case, no point of having villagers that you can't trade with. Like, can you even really call those villagers? Oh, Okay, well, that is a lot of cod. Uh, well, unfortunately for them, there's no water around here, so they're probably all gonna die. And okay, we've just broken five out of 50 lucky blocks, so there's still quite a few more. The sponge is named This Sponge Got Spongier. Uh, that is just weird. I, I don't understand. And now what I wanna do as well is quickly go ahead and enchant my armor, but I just realized I don't even have enough levels. So let's head on over to our dark mob grinder. Oh my gosh, my frame rate is actually really low, and okay, that probably explains it. I guess while I was building my pool, I was also getting a lot of mob spawns, which I guess is a good thing. Let's go ahead and get a bunch of levels. All right, now let's enchant some of our armor. And fire protection three aqua infinity. Okay, that probably couldn't have been any worse. But let's go ahead and enchant our leggings. Oh, I'm breaking through protection four. That is very good. So now we have two pieces of prop four. And now I need to get the 30 levels again. And for our final enchant, I was hoping to get either protection four or feather falling four, but I didn't get either. So I guess we are pretty unlucky with the enchants. 
Uh, what the heck is this? A uh, protection six aquamarine chest plate? Okay, that probably beats my prop four netherite armor, I'm assuming, because I have never seen this before, but I will take that. Thank you very much. And okay, there's a bunch of supplies right there. Let's go ahead and grab these and we'll keep it moving. Uh, what the heck just dropped? Is this some sort of enchanted stick? It is called a slappy stick. Knockback 20 organic. Okay, I need to try this out right now. One of you cows, you can come out. There we go. And let's go ahead and give this knockback stick a try. Holy! Okay, I think he would have just went flying way off of the platform. Okay, honestly, we need to make a sacrifice for scientific purposes. Goodbye, uh, Fred. Oh, yeah. As you guys can see, this knockback stick is very OP, and that will definitely come in handy. All right, so I think I'm gonna just go ahead and spend the next couple days mining this lucky block. I'll let you guys know if anything happens. Okay, what the heck? I just got a bunch of diamond blocks, diamond horse armor. Oh my gosh, a stack and a half of diamond blocks. And we finally got some sand as well, which means we should be able to brew up some potions. <gasps> okay, I thought that was something bad, but it's just a bunch more chickens and sponge. Uh, what is this? Just a coal block? A block of coal. Wow. Thank you. Okay, that is not good. That is very bad. No, 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 no. Please don't do this to me. I spent so much time on this base, Mr. Wither. Okay, guys, I've got a really bad feeling about this. I feel like my base is about to get absolutely nuked. And I really don't know what I'm supposed to do in a situation like this. Oh, no. No, no, no. He's actually doing a lot of damage to me now, too. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, unfortunately for my base. Wait, is it not blowing up any of the blocks? For some reason, I thought Wither's... Oh, yeah, it's starting to, it's starting to grief my base now. This is not good. Let's keep it moving. We need to keep eating food to regenerate our health and i kind of want to keep them on this area here um you know what i guess we could bring him into my tree farm area that way he can't really see me i just don't want him to like fully grief my base okay guys this is really really bad my entire base is being griefed as we speak and yeah my base is being freaking destroyed and i only got this thing to half health i wish i had a better bow than this and where are my bob destroyer iron golems when you need them uh, okay keep cutting around this forest hopefully he doesn't break the slabs under my feet uh wait did did he fall? Oh, he's, he might be coming back up. I don't know what he's doing right now. Try to get some hits on him here. Oh God, I am actually getting really low. Let's hide under here. Wait, is he stuck? I think he might be stuck. Can we shoot him from here? None of my shots are registering on him from here. Oh, I don't know what just happened. Oh my God, he is like teleporting everywhere. Okay, run, 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 run. Eat food to regenerate my hearts. I really wish I had healing potions at this point. Oh God, oh God, oh God, okay. This is not good, this is not good. Okay guys, we've almost got him. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, let's keep kiting underneath these trees. Buy us a little bit of time. Okay, come on. Let's take a couple more hits. Oh my God. Okay, we got him. Holy crap. That was not very lucky, Mr. Lucky Block. Let's take a look at some of the damage he did. Oh my gosh. He literally killed all of my animals in there. He griefed a lot of my base and a lot of my farms. Okay, well, that was pretty close. The damages on the inside don't even look too bad. Let's check the upstairs. Oh, okay. Well, that is a little bit more damage than I anticipated. I guess this is probably gonna take a little while to repair but and oh let's go ahead and put out this fire before that spreads i honestly don't even know if i want to repair the base at this point because what if another wither spawns like that's probably not a good idea but we should probably repair some of the holes in the floors i mean one of the good things about that interaction that i had with the wither was i got a bunch of sand so i will be able to brew up some potions so let's go ahead and spend the next couple days brewing up some potions all right guys just finished up brewing up some potions and then also over here i brewed up a little bit of strength and and I just realized I had my beds in my inventory since they got blown up. Okay, we'll just place them there. And now we have strength potions and insta health potions. Let's continue mining this lucky block and see if we can get to the final phases. Oh, okay. What do we get here? Uh, seems like a variety of different things. What is this sword? Oh my gosh. An aquamarine sword? Looting six, mending, sharpness six, sweeping strikes three, unbreaking four. Okay. Don't mind if I do. And we got ourselves a trident. Not really too useful, but let's go ahead and take these golden apples. And we should be able to keep mining. Let's keep our distance. And oh no, do I have a water bucket? I do not have a water bucket. Um, oh no. How long am I flying for? 24 seconds. I'm going to be levitating. Oh, this is perfect. Let's fly over top of our pool. Guys, I knew this pool would come in handy because as soon as this levitation runs out, I would be dead. But it's a good thing we decided to make a pool. And we should be falling here now. And I just realized my pool almost looks like a heart from above. That's pretty cool. There we go. Just like that, we live and wait. 
Where did all of this lava just come from? What the heck? Okay, well, that is not very good. Uh, how the heck am I gonna stop this? I think that this is the best course of action. We just go ahead and block it all up. And there we go. All right, and ooh, tier upgrade. Tier nine, strange, just strange. Everything doesn't make sense here. Be careful, the end is near. Okay, that does not sound very good. We got a waterlogged book. Can I open it? No, you can't open it. Um, okay, well, let's go ahead and see what this lucky block's all about. And ooh, wait, a helmet. Lucky turtle helmet. Okay, it doesn't have any protection on it, but I have a feeling that this could be better than my netherite helmet. I'm not sure. Maybe not, though. Oh, well, I decided to wear the helmet because I get water breathing, apparently on it so that's pretty good and ooh, a new pickaxe okay a lucky pickaxe wait what happens if i mine the lucky block with the lucky pickaxe Ooh, i'll go ahead and take that i guess i mean we already have a bunch of diamond blocks but what's one more and oh my gosh what the heck is that okay I guess we just have like a hundred flying pigs. Welcome to my lucky block, guys. These things are kind of sketching me out a little bit, but if we can, let's quickly go grab some seeds. I don't know why I said seeds. Let's quickly grab some carrots and let's see, will they all come to me? I don't think this is gonna work either. Okay, I think they're all just kind of floating around aimlessly. All right, well, I guess you guys have fun. I can't really save you. Ooh, and a bunch more food. I mean, you can never go wrong, but it is cooked rabbit. So that is a little bit strange bunch more diamonds and it's unfortunate we just got a bunch more emeralds but all those villages that we found earlier were completely useless you can't even trade with them so and what i think i'm gonna do quickly is harvest all of my crops again and go ahead and repair the damages that the wither caused and as you can see i fixed up most of my base there's just a little bit i gotta fix over there and now i just gotta fill in a bunch of these gaps oh man i didn't expect the wither to do this much damage to be honest and now that our base is back to normal, let's go ahead and try and get to the last phase. Ooh, a lucky cow? Okay, uh, do you do anything in particular? I don't think he does anything in particular, guys. What happens if I kill him? Oh, okay, well, he just does. I thought maybe he dropped some good loot. And let's go ahead and... <gasps> Oh my gosh, what the heck just happened? Enchanted golden apple cow? Hold on, let me try killing this one. Will it drop an enchanted golden apple maybe? Oh, get over here, buddy. Um, wait, it actually does. Oh my goodness. And I don't know why the texture is messed up, but this is actually a god apple. So this is gonna come in handy for sure. Let's go ahead and maybe kill a few more of these. I, I have a feeling that if you breed them, it's gonna go back to a default mushroom cow. So it's probably not a good idea to breed these guys, but let's Let's kill one more for good luck. There we go. And let's go ahead and see what else we can get from here. Wait, tier upgrade. Congratulations. You're now worthy to enter the end. Are you ready? Break every lucky block so far until then. Uh-oh. Okay. And then I just picked up a strange... Oh my goodness. Strange bedrock boots. I have protection... Protection 30? Because there's three protection Xs. What the heck is my hearts, guys? Guys, I literally cannot see like half of my screen. But let's go go ahead and, and mine this. I believe I just need to mine the remaining lucky blocks and it should bring us over to the end dimension. All right, let's pick up some blocks and let's actually eat an enchanted golden apple and see how fast our hearts go up. Look at that, guys. This is actually insane. I don't even know how many rows of hearts that is, but it is gonna take something really OP to kill me. I'll tell you that. And I have a feeling it spawned in all of these cows because it's gonna take me a lot of golden apples to get to full health. I'm a imagining that's likely why. So let's go ahead and destroy all of these cows. All right, that should be good. We'll leave the last couple ones over there and let's continue mining this one block. Wait, what just happened? Oh, I just got teleported to the end. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to take down the ender dragon now. And apparently all these endermen are mad at me. This is not good. This is not good. There we go. All right, let's go take down this ender dragon. And one thing I just noticed, why is the middle end portal thing all the way up there in the sky? That is something I've never seen before. All right, and that should be the last one. Now we just got to take down the Ender Dragon. And I think what would make the most sense if I actually maybe Ender Pearl are built up to there. That way I can hit him whenever he goes to the middle. All right, there we go. Now we should just be able to kill him from here. All right, and it should just be a couple more hits. Come on. Okay, I think we just killed him. And what happens if I break this lucky block? I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's pop a God Apple. Let's go ahead and break this. Oh, and it's just the unlimited lucky block, but it's in the end as well. Okay, let's hop back through. 
through. And we made it back to our lucky block. And why the heck is there an end portal frame in here now too? Okay, well, it's a good thing I popped this god apple because I probably would have died if I didn't do that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and here's another one just like this one.